Hey guys, this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 15 Cydia tweaks and apps for iOS 5. These Cydia tweaks and apps are very new, so let's get started. The first one is called Color Profile. After you download it and installed, you have to go to Settings, and basically you can change the color of your iDevice. You can change it to a warmer color like this, or a colder color or like a blue color or a red or yellower color I'm just gonna put it in the middle again and you can change the profile lots of different modes blue, bloodlust, grayscale, uh, green so as you can see my pot hatch is in a different color now but I'm just gonna switch it back so this is basically a color profile, very cool, check it out. So the next one is called Any Lock App. After you download it and installed, once again you have to go to settings to set this up. So go to Any Lock App, open app. This basically lets you open any app in the lock screen. So let me just choose a app, I chose settings. So let me just demonstrate that to you real quick. So let me just go to my lock screen right now. Open it. Double tap. Usually you will get this camera app and when you click it, it will direct you to the camera app, of course. But this time when you click it, it will direct you to settings. As you can see, I'm in settings right now. So let me change to another app just to uh, help out calculator. And... Double tap, click it, there you go, calculator. So this is a very cool app. Next one is called Color Keyboard. Once again, you have to go to settings and click Color Keyboard right here. This basically lets you choose different themes for your keyboard and different colors. So let me just choose a theme. I chose MacBook Pro and scroll left. And there you go, MacBook Pro keyboard. You can change it to lots of other uh, themes too, but I'm not going to do that because it requires a respring. So let's move on to the next tweak. So the next one has to do with the iOS 5 notification center. So after you downloaded the tweak, which is called widget task, you will have to go to the notification center in settings and then scroll down and then click widget task, turn it on, and you have to do this for all the Cydia tweaks that has to do with iOS 5 notification center. Let's talk about the widget task. So you scroll down, widget task is the lowest one. This basically lets you see all the processes on your phone or iPod touch, your background apps, so you can delete them simply by doing this and that's basically it it's widget task you can see your background apps in the notification center so the next one is called we kill background this is another notification app or tweak so uh, basically it kills all the background apps with one simple click as you can see the widget task I have opened up four background apps or let me just uh, double click the home button and here it is four apps running in the background and I'm just gonna click this uh, button tap to close all apps I'm just gonna click it and wait for it and double tap the home button and there it is all the apps are gone so now I have deleted all the background apps which is pretty useful the next one is called App Center and App Center is right here. This basically lets you put some of your favorite applications in your notification center. As you can see right here, uh, I have five uh, apps and you can set this up in settings. So let's just do that real quick right here. Um, you scroll down until you see App Center and you can uh, choose how many apps per page. I chose five, so that's pretty good. And you can sort apps by category. The point of this 
tweak is to have shortcuts to your favorite apps. The next one is called Calendar for Notification Center. As you can see right here, I got a calendar in my notification center. So this is basically what it all does. I find it really useful because I don't have to go to the lock screen and then look at the date and do all these stuff. I can just uh, open up Notification Center and just look at the date. And the next one is called Music Center. This basically lets you control your music in the Notification Center. So I'm basically playing a song and you can uh, skip songs, pause it, or turn the volume up or down. So let me do that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The next one is called Zoom is Back. This basically lets you bring back the Zoom for your iPod Touch or iPhone. As you know, the iOS 5 update, they changed the zoom to pinching, but I find it not that useful because when I take pictures, it's pretty hard to pinch and zoom, so I still like the old sliding zoom, so this basically brings this back. The next one is called Notification Enhancer. Just go to the settings and as you can see right here, and this basically lets you change the number of lines on your text or mail. So let me just change it to 11 and then scroll it down. As you can see, my mail has 11 lines here. Uh, let me change it to 5. Scroll down again. As you can see, there's 5. And change it to 2. So there's 2 lines. So that's all it does. I think it's pretty useful. The next one is called OmniStats. It's another uh, notification center uh, tweak. So let's scroll down and here it is. This is OmniStats. It basically shows you all the stats of your iPod Touch, just like uh, how many RAM you have, uh, your battery life, your Wi-Fi IP, your iPod Touch name, uh, all the models, your storage, just things like this. I find it really useful. I don't have to look up in iTunes and stuff, so uh, that's pretty useful. The next one is called Power Center. This is somehow similar to OmniStats. As you can see right here, you get the uh, your iPod Touch stats, your network, uptime, load, download average, or something, firmware, device, free RAM. But when you scroll right, you get these options, turn off, reboot, safe mode, respring lock and Bluetooth location Wi-Fi and brightness and all these stuff useful stuff it's like SB settings but it's in your notification center the next one is called BB settings this is very similar to SB settings but it adds you know um, similar features on power center and Omni stats it gives you the stats of your iPod touch again the information and CPU usage, Wi-Fi, and stuff. This is still in a beta mode, so uh, there are lots of bugs. As you can see, it's very slow to switch through, um, you know, pages. And you can also turn up Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth, 3G, brightness, and stuff like this. And you can also go to your favorite apps. See, it's a bit buggy. I'm pretty sure they will fix this. So uh, this is pretty much BB settings, uh, very similar to SB settings, Omni stats, and Power Center. The next one is called Wii Space. As you can see right here, it gives you these pages in the notification center, and when you just hold on to it, it will direct you to that page. So let's try that again. And let's go to settings, hold on to it, it opens up settings, let's do another one, uh, let's try, let's try the camera app, there it is, the camera app, pretty cool, so that's Wii Space, so moving on to my number one tweak for iOS 5. Believe it or not, it is called Neon Cat, as you can see right here. You get this very uh, cool um, cat in a Pop-Tart, farting rainbows, and I think you also get music. Sometimes it works, but right now there's no music. Once again, it's called Neon Cat. 
you can get this tweak by a source. I will put the source in the description. So just add the source and you can download it for free. I really like this tweak because uh, when you get bored, you can just stare at it and it will basically entertain you. So this is basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Top 15 Cydia tweaks and apps for iOS 5. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you find this video very useful. So please comment, like, and favorite this video, and also share this video with your friends. Please subscribe for more iOS 5 Cydia Tweak apps videos. I will do more videos like this in the future, so please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.